As we continue on Let's Chat for this Thursday morning, we're going to talk with a couple of ladies representing Junior Achievement. You got a big thing that's coming up. Renee Penny is here and Stacy Bean. Uh, good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Stacy, I'm asking you first. You're with First Volunteer Bank. I how, am. how did you get involved with Junior Achievement? I have been a volunteer in the classroom for over 10 years now, mm -hmm. and I have served on a couple committees with them. So helping them raise some money. And you keep going back year after year. I do. I love it. It's extremely rewarding getting to go in there with the kids, interact with them. Um, as a banker, I don't get to do that as much with right. the children. But getting in there and talking to them about how money moves through a community is really fun for me. And Renee, what does it mean to the folks at Junior Achievement to have folks like Stacy from companies like First Volunteer Bank well, to keep coming of, back? All of our programs are volunteer uh, driven, so we would not be able to exist without folks like Stacy in First Volunteer. And you guys are doing an auction that is called Bids for Kids. Yes, fill me in on this. It is our the online portion of our event. We had our live event at the DoubleTree Hotel on Saturday, which consisted of a live and silent auction. Mm -hmm. And the third leg of the event is our online auction, which runs through Valentine's Day. Give me some of the uh, items that you're going to have in the auction. We have dinner and movie packages. We have travel. We have a Macaulay Sports Camp, which is a boarding camp, a 12-day camp, which is a big item. We have lookouts tickets, home decor, anything that you can think of just about, we have it. Wow, it sounds like it's, uh, and it's easy to participate in this. Mm -hmm. What are the steps involved if someone wants to go and check out the auction right now? It is live, so you can go to our website, mm -hmm. jachat.org, and there's a link to it on the homepage of our website, or you can visit biddingforgood.com forward slash big bids for JA kids, and that will take you there. Is it too late for someone who may be watching that has a good or a service or something tangible they want to donate for the auction? It is never too late. Never so too late. And what about late. volunteers to go out and do like Stacy does and work with the kids in the classroom? We are always uh, looking for volunteers and have tons of volunteer opportunities so they can just call our office 892-4488 mm -hmm. uh, and we can get them started. All right. Stacy, what would you say to potential folks who may be thinking, yeah, I've got some hours. I want to get involved with something, mm -hmm. what would you say to make them get involved with JA? Junior Achievement, I've already said that it's extremely rewarding, but getting up sometimes and talking in front of a classroom can intimidate a lot of people and you know, you're worried about the lessons. Junior Achievement makes, makes it extremely easy mm -hmm. to get up there. They have the lesson plans all planned out. You just have to study a little bit before and if you've been doing it for 10 plus years like I have, you pretty much have the lessons down and I've been, I've been teaching for the same teacher for 10 years. So wow. it's very it's, nice. Yeah, it's awesome. Stacy, Renee, thank you both for joining thank us. You. And I don't know what's in here, but I appreciate it. What's <laughs> in here? Is this some of the stuff you can find online? No, those are our oh, uh, event see. glasses from event Saturday glasses. night. All right. <laughs> You'll be able to auction some of these off, I bet, as well. <laughs> Listen, check them out right now. Go to their website. It is biddingforgood.com. Biddingforgood.com. And always, you can get involved with Junior Achievement at any time. It is 1022. We are back with more of Let's Chat right after this.